Hello everyone, we are here to make a bird flock. I'm going to show you how with Niagara. First thing, you need to have a mesh with a vertex animation. Uh, I found this one on Sketchfab. Uh, you can import and uh, use my previous video to convert it from animation to vertex animation. To create the flock, we need to create our Niagara system. So first thing, Niagara system. New system from selected emitters. We go through hanging particles, select to finish. And we have here our system in Niagara system, bird block. Okay. We open it. First thing, we need to substitute our sprite renderer with mesh renderer. So we delete this one, we add a mesh renderer, and here we must put our SM Coral. As you can see, we have our Coral. Now it's too big, so let's go initialize particles. We don't want sprite mesh sprite attributes, but we want mesh attribute. So match scale mode, we select uh, uniform. Here we put a random range float to have some kind of variation of size. We have 001 and 0005. Okay, let's see how it is. Pretty cool. Right now, uh, as you can see, they are appearing and uh, disappearing. We don't want that. We want the birds to always be the same number. So spawn rate, we kill this and we put spawn burst instantaneous. Okay, let's say 100. Uh, okay, as you can see, they are appearing multiple times over and over and over, and they are disappearing. Uh, we don't want that, so the loop behavior should not be infinite, but should be just once. Uh, and we don't want them to be killed, because the birds in the sky they don't be killed while they are flying. So, we kill this. Okay. And now we have always the same number looping infinitely. Now, we don't want this, we don't want this, we don't want this, we don't want this. Okay, now we want them some kind of some behavior to fly around a point. So, to use that, there is a pretty cool thing here, this is called vortex force. So, as you can see, with vortex force, we have some kind of vortex behavior, but we need to add some drag, otherwise our mesh goes wherever they want. Uh, and we have our drag. Uh, I want the drag to be quite bigger. Okay. And I want to have this force pretty big. Okay. Now it is working. Let's see origin pool amounts. We want this to minus 500. Okay. Uh, no, let's put it to zero. Okay. Uh, now we want to. Ah, we, as you can see, the facing is not facing right. To solve this, we can just go here, facing mode, and put on velocity. But right now, the mesh is oriented to the wrong side. So to fix this, or we re-import the mesh, that would be quite complex because uh, the vertex are stored to, to position and orientation. But we can solve this here to set the initial mesh rotation. So we set the initial mesh rotation, not random, to none. And here we say like 0 0.25 on Z-axis. And there it is. They are going to the correct direction. Perfect. Now, 
we want them to follow a point. So point force. Put down a point force. Um, we want the fall-off distance to be pretty high and we want the force strength to be pretty low. Pretty low, negative low actually. As you can see, they are getting dragged pretty heavily. Uh, the force origin, then we want to move this. So let's say convert position to vector. Okay, this one we want to add vector to position. Okay, here the first position should be the simulation position. Okay, here we want to multiply this by a float. Now you can see why. And we want here to put a sign node. Okay, and we want this to be periodically high, and here we want to have a big, big number, 100, 100, and 500. Okay, as you can see, we start having some kind of flux behavior, but this is not still not enough. Uh, I want to add more variations, so here we can say like, uh, no, 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 um, uh, random range vector, okay, so it choose between 1,500 and here 2,200, let's say the z axis remain the same. Um, then we can add some kind of curl noise movement, curl noise force, and um, we want, let's say, uh, the frequency should be 1. The frequency should be 1, you see now why, because here if I put a higher value, like 10,000, it's too much, let's say... 100, 1000. Okay. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, now, it's not still enough. We can maybe add um, a point attraction force. let's say before the vertex here and we want to set let's say a high value for now so we can see how it acts okay and we want the points attract also to move so we add vector to position here we use a position position where it is uh, let's say initial position. Now this is too random. Let's say position. That's it. Okay. And then we want to do the same thing that we did here in the point force. So multiply vector by float. Float. Okay. Uh, here one zero zero. Here we put 500, too much, 200, and here we put the sine wave, okay, and we say like this to 15, right now, let's save, and uh, we put this into our seat. Okay, uh, we need now to expose some parameters to control this. And uh, let me see what we want to control. We want to control the spawn count. 
So we say user read from new user parameter spawn count. And in this way, as you can see here, we exposed this variable here. So directly into the scene, we can just say shoot tower. Cool, huh? Uh, let's go back to one under for now. Okay, now I want to expose other parameters. So I want to expose the drag. So with this parameter exposed, we can like control the hardness of the speed and the hardness of our drag. And now I say go back to 10. Okay. Uh, now we want to control the noise here. Let's say, let's see what happened is we put that 10,000. Yes, we definitely want to control the noise. Go back to 1000. And here, read new user parameter. Okay. We want to control the size of this mesh. So, user parameter, user parameter. And with this we say, okay, 0 0.05, 0 0.1. Okay, they are like too much in the same group. We want them to split way more. Let's see. Maybe the drug is too much, but right now it's just then. Maybe, 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 maybe what could it be to increase? We can try to increase this point attract force to give them a more random. So let's say 200. Let's say 200, 200, 200. Let's put this more in the sky. As you can see, they are following it, some kind of uh, follow in a sense, because we drag them to position. We attraction force to a uh, position oh. say okay, and I'll go back in the scene let's put 1000 as you can see here we have our beautiful bird flocks We want then to cast shadow active. So if we move it, where it is, okay. If we move it, as you can see, they are casting shadow. Cool, huh? Okay. Uh, it doesn't have any impact right now on the GPU. Let me see what happened here if we just choose GPU fixed. Okay, we have our bird flock done. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.